Hi everybody, it's Chris Byberg, the director of the National House of Prayer, coming to you today from Ottawa. What I want to talk to you today about some interesting things that have happened just last week. On um, Monday the 15th, uh, one of our prayer team leaders uh, out in Fort St. John reached out to us and they were in distress. They were surrounded by fires and they said, Chris, can you pray? They asked, Chris, can you alert and pray? Of course, how could we not? And so we sent out a bulletin uh, late Monday. And I tell you, I was, I was, I was just uh, so pleasantly surprised. The whole evening, my phone was pinging with people answering that call. They were saying, Chris, we're on this. Yes, we're praying. Thank you for alerting the nation. Thank you for praying. Those kinds of things were, were happening. And, uh, and then in the morning, we started to, started to hear the testimonies. And one of the testimonies I want to share with you comes from our friend Helena uh, from Fort St. John. And she was sharing about how a, a, there, a couple whose farm was surrounded by fires, whose home was was it was it looked like the, it was done it looked like the fires were coming and they ran out into the field and they started to cry out to god and even the firefighters had arrived by that time and it looked like their house was about to be lost and you know something amazing happened and the firefighter said this he said i've never seen anything like this before he said, he said, it's as if the fire is standing, not going with the wind, but is standing up against the wind and pushing back against the wind. And as a result, the house was saved. Isn't that a great story? We have many of these stories. So I just want to th say thank you to those of you that got on the wall and started to pray because prayer matters. You know, NHOP isn't just about praying for Ottawa. It's about praying for our regions and our constituencies. You know, your, con your members of parliament are in your constituency, in your riding. That's why we do both. That's why we're building this canopy of prayer. So it's not just focused exclusively on, on Parliament Hill in Ottawa, but what's going on in your community and that's where the members live so I just wanted to say thank you thank you for for those of you who jumped on and so what is God saying in this so what is he saying are you one of those people that ask those questions when you see stuff starting to happen do you ask the question God what are you saying father what are you saying through this and so I was at a prayer meeting yesterday with some uh, some pastors here in Ottawa and uh, and I was meditating on on what was happening out west and these answers to prayers and these miracles and I felt the Lord speak to me in, in terms of what's happening that uh, if we call out to him he is able to save if we call out to him he is mighty to save and I really believe we're in a season right now that if we call out to him he's able to save in our families he's able to save in our workplaces he's able to save on our streets and so that's why we are praying for our communities, not just what goes on in Hall Parliament Hill. There's a lot of stuff that's going on there. There are a lot of things that make us uh, uh, uneasy. And you'll see that those prayer points that we send out every week that on, on what we feel is important to press into. But I just want to say to you in this season that our God is mighty to save and that keep praying, keep praying praying stay on the wall it's the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous that avails much and don't wait for just crises to pray it's awesome that we can cry out in a crisis and we we see that God answers but he wants to answer every day every day routine things invite him into your life invite him into your prayer walk invite him into your conversations so let's pray father I thank you for your goodness and your mercy. Lord, I thank you for that great mercy that you've been pouring out in the West of uh, British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan. Lord, thank you for rain that has been flowing so freely this, these past couple of days out there. Lord, we're grateful. So Father, I pray that we would have ears to hear and eyes to see what you're doing in our neighborhoods, in our local churches, in our workplaces, and in our constituencies. Lord, bless us and i thank you god for what you're doing in this hour in jesus name amen i'm chris byberg the director of the national house of prayer and we will see you next time bye for now